Hi everyone, thanks for your interest in NCBI datasets. My name is Mirin Tsuchia and I'm a data wrangler at the National Center for Biotechnology Information, which is part of the National Library of Medicine at the National Institutes of Health. In this video, I'll be talking about NCBI datasets and how it can help you retrieve genomic data for your research. First, what is NCBI datasets? NCBI datasets is a new resource that allows users to explore and download data and metadata from genomes, genes, and ortholog sets in a more intuitive way. NCBI datasets supports two NIH initiatives. The first is the Comparative Genomic Resource, or CGR, which focuses on facilitating research on comparative genomics of eukaryotic organisms. The second initiative is the NIH's COVID response. NCBI datasets provides access to millions of SARS-CoV-2 genomes, protein, and associated metadata. This project started in the fall of 2019 and is in active development. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to reach out. We would love to hear from you. With datasets, users can access data metadata from our user-friendly web interface or programmatically through our open API or command line. From the web interface, you can easily visualize the number of genomes available for your taxon of interest, browse and download genes and genomes. For larger downloads, we recommend using the API or the command line tool. I'll talk more about our command line tools later in this presentation. Now that I introduced NCBI datasets to you, the next important point is to understand how the data is delivered. For all options, data is delivered as a data package, which is a zip archive that contains both data and metadata files. Depending on availability, we have sequence files in FASTA format and annotation files as GFF3, GTF, or GBFF formats. The metadata files are in JSON or JSON lines format, and they consolidate information spread over multiple files on, on FTP, which simplifies access to that, that information. In the poster, I have a diagram showing the data package contents for genome, gene, and virus in more detail. For users interested in downloading large amounts of data, we recommend using the command line tool or the open API. I'll focus on the command line tool now, but feel free to reach out if you have questions about the API. The datasets command line tool works in Mac, Linux, and Windows systems. In this diagram, we show how this tool is organized and how users can browse for data and metadata. Each subcommand has multiple flags to help narrow down to the desired genomes or genes of interest. I like to think about the datasets command as something like this. Hey datasets, I would like to download a genome for the taxon, and then you fill the blanks. In this example here, we use Iluridi, which is the red panda family. Datasets has a companion tool called data format which allows users to export metadata from the JSON and JSON lines files into tabular or Excel formats. Users can extract all information from the data reports or select only the relevant fields, like in this example here. Here, the only fields we were interested were organism name, assembly accession, uh, scaffold N50, and assembly level. Before I finish, I would like to thank our datasets team and all collaborators that are constantly helping this project evolve. Finally, I would like to mention that we have a birds of a feather on July 13th at 6.15 p.m. Central Time. We will also be at CoFest all day on July 15th. Please come by to chat and learn more about datasets and other NCBI initiatives. Thank you so much.